The piece of broken net found by an Australian fisherman may hold the key to solving the enigma surrounding the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines aircraft MH370. Even after the world's largest search at sea, the final resting place of the crashed jet, which vanished on March 8, 2014, with 227 passengers and 12 crew members aboard, is still a mystery. Nine years after the plane vanished, retired Australian fisherman Kit Olver, 77, has now come forward to say that in September or October of 2014, his deep-sea trawler in the Southern Ocean, about 55 kilometres off the southeast coast of South Australia, picked up what looked to be the wing of a commercial airline. According to the majority of authorities, MH370 went down in the Southern Indian Ocean. Mr. Olver revealed to the Sydney Morning Herald that he was fishing in his designated area for the highly sought-after Alfonsino fish species when his net caught on a big object that was difficult for it to lift to the surface. He told the newspaper, It was a bloody great wing of a big jet airliner. I've questioned myself and tried to figure out how to get out of this. I wish with all my heart that I had never seen it. But alas... It exists. It was the wing of a jet. Having had a pilot's license, he was certain that the wing measured more than that of a normal private aircraft. The lone remaining crew member of the trawler Vivian Jane George Curry also confirmed to the press what Mr. Olver had claimed. It was really ungainly and heavy. It extended the net and tore it. Mr. Curry stated it was too big to get up on the deck. I knew what it was as soon as I saw it. It was clearly a commercial plane's wing, or a large portion of one. It was clearly not from a small plane or a military jet, because it was white. Mr. Olver gave his crew the order to cut the $20,000 net free and let it drift back into the relatively shallow depths of that section of the Southern Ocean after they had been trying to liberate the object for the entire day. Mr. Olver sent the GPS coordinates for the location, which was roughly 55 kilometres west of the South Australian town of Robe, to Tony Wright of the Sydney Morning Herald. He claims that shortly after arriving back at port, he made an attempt to notify the Australian Maritime Safety Authority, AMSA, of his discovery. He was called by an officer a few hours after making the call, who informed him that the find was probably a shipping container that had fallen from a Russian ship in the vicinity of Robe. The Sydney Morning Herald was informed by the AMSA that they were not aware of Mr. Olver's call. If Mr. Olver's discovery can assist the families of those on board MEH 370 in learning the final fate of their loved ones, then he felt it was the appropriate thing to share it with the world. He said that he was at peace with himself and that he was not ready to respond to any more questions from the press. That is all, Mr. Olver stated. I've expressed my viewpoint. I have no interest in coming up with anything more because it would just be speculation, hypothesis, or my concept. That happened years ago. It was on my conscience but I've since cleared it up and shared my side of the story. So it's not in my control whether it's accepted or followed through on. Families of those on board MH370 urged the Malaysian government earlier this year to permit Ocean Infinity, an American seabed exploration company, to launch a fresh search for the missing aircraft. Offering to pay up to $70 million if it located the aircraft, Malaysia hired Ocean Infinity in 2018 to look for it in the Southern Indian Ocean. However, its endeavour was unsuccessful. The company's investigation began after Malaysia, China and Australia abandoned a two-year $1.200 million, $135.36 million, undersea search in January 2017 due to the lack of any aircraft debris. Family members of those on board the aircraft, known as Voice 370, requested the Malaysian government to consider any offers from the firm on a conditional fee basis, 
meaning that the firm would only be compensated if the plans were successful. Following a memorial service to commemorate the ninth anniversary of MEH 370's disappearance, Voice 370 released a statement saying, Ocean Infinity over the last 12 months has made real progress working with many people to further understand the events in 2014. In the end, this has significantly raised their odds of carrying out a fruitful search.